Hello everyone, my name is Dan Bossi, president of Ag Resource Company, coming to you from Chicago, talking a little bit about what a crop tour we just completed during the last week. During that crop tour, we really wanted to go out and understand corn and, corn and soybean crops, at least heading into the October report, and into the harvest that is now just starting. As we went and did our surveys, and we did just under a thousand miles across Illinois and through all of Iowa, we came up with the opinion anyway that the biggest surprise was soybean pod weights. Now USDA within the September report indicated that soybean pod weights would be record large. We all kind of looked at that and said, mm, I'm not so sure it's early in the month of September, we need confirmation. Well, we have never seen so many four and three bean pods in on this tour. Lots of them, almost 70% of the bean pods were that. Also, we wanted to check in this tour whether those top bean pods would fill at least coming into this harvest. Now, if we go back and look at history, history shows us that warm Septembers tend to give us the best yield increases from September into the final. This September looks like it'll be one of the warmest in the past two decades. So with that being said, our yield analysis would show that USDA's pod weight, which was already record large at about 0.33, would increase even more going forward. We would expect that that pod weight could maybe, maybe gain another half a gram or something like that. That would indicate a U.S. soybean yield ranging between 47.4 and 48 bushels an acre. Now it's hard to understand and believe that this year's soybean yield could exceed last year's record, but based on what we saw in, Indiana, in Illinois and in, in Iowa, that kind of yield would be likely. Now Iowa soybean yields were projected by USDA to be 53 uh, bushels per acre, Illinois at 54. We don't want to change Illinois' yield a lot. We think it could maybe go up a half bushel or maybe a bushel per acre, but what seems to be estimated on the low side would be Iowa. We would guesstimate, guesstimate maybe the Iowa soybean yield could be record large at 55 bushels an acre or more. Looking at corn, we thought the corn crop had deteriorated a little bit from our initial survey in August. We think corn yields, because of what we saw as poor stalk strength, uh, possibly more ear droppage, a slightly lower ear weight could come down a bushel or two. That means that the U.S. corn yield could range between 165.5 bushels an acre up to 166.5. Egg Resource today is using a corn yield of 166 and a soybean yield of 47 or slightly over that number. These are numbers we think that are, that are possible. As we go forward in time again, we wouldn't be surprised if that soybean yield number bumps up towards the mid-47 level possibly as high as 48, but that would be an outside extreme. Harvest weather will be extremely important over the next couple of weeks. It looks good at this point, but if we do get any kind of inclement wet weather, it will cause some increase in uh, harvest losses or field losses that would be reflected back in USDA's yield total. So generally speaking, from our 1,000 miles that we drove, we are very encouraged about the soybean crop. We think the yield number can go up. We were disappointed by corn because of stock health and stock strength. We thought some of those stocks could lodge, particularly if we had some inclement weather during harvest. But generally speaking, we thought corn yields were just not of what we, up to what we saw in August. Thanks for listening. My name is Dan Bossi. Uh, we look for the report in October to show a yield that's slightly better in soybeans, a slightly lower yield in corn. Harvest results is justifying those numbers, at least at this point. We'll see what the October crop report. Again, until next time, thank you for listening.